Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here with 80 Proof Goods. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be making our leather money envelope using our brand new uh, acrylic template. I've been wanting to do this for a really long time. It's taken me forever to get my butt up to actually make these, but now that I have them made and they're live on the site, I wanted to walk you through how to make one using the actual acrylic template. Now, usually for all my products, especially in videos, I use my Glowforge and laser cut everything or most things. Um, so it doesn't really help. If you want to pick up the template, you don't have laser cutter, you're going to be using this. So I'm making a leather money envelope using this acrylic template. I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, so first things first, if you're not familiar with my leather money envelope, if this is the first time you're visiting the channel, uh, this is a money envelope that basically is just a snap wall that can hold 100 plus bills. Um, it became really quickly one of my most popular products, so I get a lot of requests for templates and patterns, depending on what you want to call it. So I decided to make an acrylic one, as you see here. Now I'm making this out of uh, natural Minerva full grain Italian leather. You can use any material you like. All you want to do at first is lay the acrylic template down on the the leather. Use a scratch off to trace it out and poke where the snap holes are. You want to make sure you're lining that up and then take your ruler and slap off all the straight cuts. If they're straight lines, you can do it with a ruler. At that point, there's a couple of curves we have to take care of and there's a number of ways you can do that. What I like to do is basically just put my um, my hand rolling uh, knife, I forget what it's called, I'm literally blanking on that, and just roll the leather with it and it cuts off in a nice rounded shape. I've seen a lot of people put, you know, a coin up to it, uh, you know, uh, maybe a penny if you want something a little bit smaller, a quarter if you want a bigger rounded uh, corner there, um, and then just cut around it, lots of different methods. From there, there's two places that I want to bevel. I want to bevel the uh, flap that'll actually be the inside fold and the top flap that'll close and fold down and snap shut. Um, those two pieces, um, you really won't be able to bevel and burnish after it's put together, so you want to do it beforehand. Once it's beveled, I'm going to use tokenol and canvas cloth, which is my preferred burnishing method, but a lot of people like tokenol and a wood slicker. Um, some people use a pro burnishing machine. What, whatever you got, you want to tackle that now, those two flaps, and only those two flaps. From there, we're going to install the hardware, because once everything's put together, again, it's not impossible to put the snaps on, but it does make it a little bit more difficult to do the snaps that are going to be on the inside of the flap or the fold, the pocket portion. Uh, so I like to do the snaps first. I'll do the top portion, the outer snap, and then I'll do the inner snap, which is going to be toward the bottom where it folds up. So tackle that now, and then you're going to glue it shut. Um, you can use uh, any kind of glue that you want. You can use uh, tape as well. Some people use double-sided tape. Uh, I'm using Aqualum 315. I find it to be a really nice water-based glue, um, which, you know, you, the sticky residue, if you do get any of it anywhere, it can easily come off or a little bit more easily than some of the other glues, like a, like a cement. Uh, and then I like to use binder clips to just hold them together until it dries. I mark my stitching line an eighth of an inch away from the edge on both sides, and then I'm going to be using these Cinebrox pricking irons. Now, these are pricking irons um, that I've had for years, and I swear by them. Up until this point, I see uh, a lot of the videos I've been making, you've probably seen me do uh, a lot of sewing machine stuff, or I laser cut the holes, but you're not going to do that. You're making it with a template at home, so you have to do everything kind of manually, unless you have a sewing machine. In that case, not, you know, have at it. Here I'm going to be hand stitching, and you can see the slanted prongs from the pricking iron, uh, so it's going to give me a really nice zigzag stitch. So if you don't know how to hand stitch or saddle stitch, uh, it's definitely something you want to learn for this project. Um, it's not that difficult. It's just repetitive motions and making sure you do the same thing every single time to get the perfect zigzag on the front and on the back, which you saw me cut to a second ago. Uh, a lot of people can, uh, you know, when you're first starting off, you might, on the face of the product, the front of the product, you'll have a really nice stitch, but then you flip it over and the zigzag is kind of off. There's some straight lines. It doesn't look very good. You want to make sure you're doing the correct motion each and every stitch, every time, the same exact way. And that's how you end up with a front and back that looks exactly the same. From there, you want to sand off your edges, make sure the, the edges are flush, bevel, burnish again, token old canvas cloth, and there you have it. So that's a money envelope, at least what I call it, snap wall, it's another name for it. I hope this was helpful. If you picked up the PDF uh, template with the acrylic template from my website, which is live now, link in the description, this is going to be your walkthrough video. You want to follow this step by step, and you'll be able to make it yourself.